Hello everyone, Triple N I here and welcome to an unscripted video. We live in tough times. Well, there's nothing much to do. I can't believe I've been sitting at home for 20 days doing nothing. So I thought I'd make a quick little video about some of the simpler stuff I have been doing. Let's get started. As you probably know, this is the power board which supplies power to the cap charger as well as the STM32 computer board. I realize that this thing has no on off switch as such so the moment you put the battery in everything turns on and you, if you take it out everything turns off there's really no way to turn it turn the computer on and off and the battery is still plugged in of course the simple solution would be to use a toggle switch like this one but what if the caps are still fully charged when you turn this thing off that's a safety hazard so don't you wish there was a way to signal the micro microcontroller to discharge the caps just before you turn everything off what we are looking for is called a soft latching power switch and you can find a lot of examples on Google. This circuit looks simple, so why not just try this? Alright, so I have this circuit built up on the breadboard here. Q1 is a P-channel MOSFET and IRF5210 and Q2 and Q3 are two NPN transistors bc 548 So when I pull the gate of the MOSFET low, the LED should turn on. And if I pull the base of Q3 high, the LED should turn off. It does work, but only kind of. And that's not good. So let's bring in the multimeter and see what's wrong. If we measure the base voltage of Q2, which is around 0 0.8 volts, and the collector voltage of Q3, which is around the same thing, of course, because they are both connected. We realize that the collector emitter drop of Q3 is almost the same as the base emitter drop of Q2 over here. So it seems as if this point is stuck at 0 0.7 volts, at which point Q2 always wants to stay on, so the circuit is stuck on it, can't really be turned off. Now, a simple solution would be to replace this 1K resistor with something bigger say 10k and the circuit should work without any problems let's try it now turn on turn off simple so we got that part fixed now what if we suddenly connect power to the input that's not supposed to happen the led turns on by default which is sort of dangerous let's try that again Oops, apparently the problem here is this pull-up resistor. So when this thing first turns on, there's no direct path to ground. So the gate is basically floating and the gate to drain capacitance charges up through this 10K resistor. So the gate doesn't have enough time to pull up when the power supply is on. So the transistor is conductive. So when we turn it on for the first time, I mean, when we apply power, this transistor is on and it stays on because of this whole latching action. To fix that, we can decrease the pull-up resistor to say something like 3.3K and that should probably fix this problem. Let's try again. And as you can see, the thing does not turn on when power is applied to it. So I guess we fixed it. I built the same circuit on a perf board using SMD components and connected an Arduino to it. The Ar One of the pins of the Arduino has an internal pull up which detects when the toggle switch is well in this position so that it can turn it off. And when it is when the toggle switch is in this position, the circuit turns on. So as you can see, I can turn the circuit on. And when I turn it off, the Arduino detects that switch waits for three seconds and then turns itself off, as you can see. Bam, I measured the current draw and it was around 30 nanoamps. So I guess you could call this a zero quiescent current switch. So the lesson we learn here is that even simple circuits can teach you a lot.
Thank you for watching.